Okay, so we look at analysis of uh, the salt. Analysis of the salt. On hydrolysis, this is a sort of strong base and we can see. So this is a basic salt. Okay, a basic salt because it tends to show some basic property. That's why it can be used in analytical chemistry for standardization. In this video, we're going to be analyzing this salt in the lab. Okay, its solubility, the effects of solution of these salts with litmus paper, and then we test for carbonate ion and we test for carbon four oxide. That's all for this analysis. So we're going to start first with this. All this analysis must be must be represented in a table in a tabular form under the headings tests observation observation inference okay so this is going to be referred to as C okay so <clears throat> number 2AI will have that C whose initial states is solid plus distilled water let's say we have 5 cm cube of distilled water plus shake Okay, so we're going to fill in what we have here, but before that, I add solution, that's after adding what that becomes the solution C from 2AI above plus litmus paper. So we're going to fill in these two results quickly before we go to the next question. So, since this salt is so all solute salts will appear to be very soluble in water. So it means that dissolves, dissolves, comma, gives colorless solution. So this is for this question. Okay? This is for this question. So we will finish the question here in first. This will be score. Okay? So what is going to be here? So since it dissolves, it means that. C is a soluble salt. C is a soluble salt. So yeah, I'll just answer this question here as brief as possible. Must be brief as possible. So next is to know what will be the effect of this with little supply. Because this is a salt of a strong base and a weak acid. So it means that it will have effect on red most paper. So what is going to happen to red litmus paper? Okay, what is going to happen to blue litmus paper? So, no effect. I'll start with this. No effect. No effect. No effect on blue litmus <coughs> paper. Okay. No effect on blue litmus paper. Here, tons, tons, red, litmus, paper, blue. Okay, so because it turns red litmus paper blue, I can write under here that solution, solution C is basic. Solution C is basic or alkalinic. Okay, that is it for this question. Okay, then for BI, for BI, so you're going to keep a certain portion of this. Okay, a certain portion of this. So we have solution, solution C from 
the remain of this, so you're going to divide the test on this one. one the other portion you kept, solution C from 2A R above plus B A C L2. Okay, that is barium chloride. Sometimes you can still use barium nitrates. Either of this can be okay, they must be in a case. So once you add this, you notice that there will be a what? A white white precipitates. White precipitates. White precipitates form. Okay? White precipitate forms means that either it is barium carbonate, either it is barium sulfate, or either it is barium sulfate. This is basic threatening anions here. We form precipitates with this. So three of them will be likely present. So here we have CO3, 2 minus SO4, 2 minus SO3, 2 minus present. Okay. okay. The moment this happens, you may quickly, on what you have here, shift small and add to it, dilute to this ACL. So what's going to happen to precipitate? So since we're testing for this, so there will be evolution. So here, if a vessence occurs, if a vessence that is bubbling of gas occurs, if a vessence occurs, gives colorless, colorless, odorless gas. Give odorless, odorless, colorless, odorless gas, which turns wet litmus, wet blue litmus, litmus paper, faint red, faint red. Okay, faint red. So here, if you shift a little bit here and add plus lime water, okay, okay, here, tons, tons lime water, tons lime water from colorless to milkiness. From colorless to milkiness, but can tend to disappear on excess bubbling of gas. That may not be necessary. So, but there's something again that you do here that is supposed to record it. Now that it turns, it turns red little super. Red that means you can open bracket, shows that it is an acidic gas. So we make sure it's very important. So what will be here? Now write it at C. O2 CO2 or you can say that gas the gas gas is CO2 from CO3 2 minus or HCO3 minus present but the moment like what turns to milkiness cannot come here and now say CO3 2 minus or HCO3 minus. I'm looking for where to write confirm. Yeah, is where you now confirm it. Okay, so this is a um, composite video and go step by step. I check each of these. Please look at where it matters a lot. Look at where you end your marks. Here's the observation and the inferences. Okay, once your observations are not correct, I don't think you're going to score any mark here. So make sure that you end your mark. Uh, this is going to be the most uh, simple, uh, uh, most easy practical I've ever seen. Because this time you are not going to test for sodium. Okay, all lies to see. Okay, so these are the analysis of this. So this is exactly how it will come up.
that very day. It's gonna be a very short table, a very very technical one. So you must be uh, very careful to to know what the examiner is actually looking for. So please make sure you go through this. Okay, you can send it to your to your friends, well wishers that will be up for this year's Nico exam. Thank you for watching.